in the vibrant village of Nyota, nestled between lush green hills. And a river that shimmers like silver in the sun, life flows with an intoxicating rhythm. The marketplace is a bustling mosaic of color and sound, where vendors call out to passers-by. Showcasing an array of colorful fabrics, aromatic spices, and intricate handmade jewelry. Children laugh and play, their carefree shouts mixing with the melody of the elders' stories, recounted under the shade of ancient baobab trees. Yet, beyond this lively scene, a dense forest looms, shadowy and mysterious, whispered to hold secrets and ancient spirits that even the bravest villagers dare not confront. At the heart of this village is Amina, a 17-year-old girl with striking features that set her apart from her peers. Her deep-set, expressive eyes, a rich hue of chestnut, reveal a mix of curiosity and hidden sorrow. They seem to carry the weight of unspoken tales, dreams not yet realized. Amina's hair, adorned with beads that jingle softly as she moves, reflects her vibrant spirit. Yet a certain heaviness lingers about her, as if she bears an invisible cloak of unease. Amina stands apart from the other villagers, driven by an insatiable desire to uncover the truth about her family's past. This yearning is fueled by unsettling dreams that plague her sleep, dreams that feel more like memories than fantasies. Each night, she finds herself wandering through the forest, where a mysterious figure cloaked in shadows whispers her name, beckoning her deeper into the darkness. The dreams leave her shaken, and upon waking, she feels an ache in her heart. A longing to understand what lies beneath the surface of her family's legacy. Recently, the village celebrated a festival honoring ancestors. A time when the community comes together to share stories and pay homage to those who came before. The vibrant costumes filled the square, and the air was thick with the scent of roasted meats and sweet pastries. As the villagers danced around the fire, their laughter echoed into the night, weaving a tapestry of joy and connection. Yet amidst the festivities, Amina felt a pang of sadness, torn between the elation of the celebration and a deep-seated dread about her family's secrets. The tales shared around the fire danced tantalizingly close to her heart, yet never quite touched upon the shadows that lingered just beyond the light. The whispers in the village speak of Amina's family, a lineage of past glory intertwined with shadows of darkness. Her father, a once revered healer, had vanished mysteriously when she was just a child, leaving behind a mother burdened with sorrow and secrets. The villagers' gaze shifts uneasily when they speak of him, their words often laced with suspicion and pity. Amina's mother, now a distant figure lost in her grief, rarely speaks of the past, creating an emotional chasm that Amina yearns to bridge. Each time she approaches her mother with questions, she is met with silence or vague responses that only deepen the mystery. Around her neck, Amina wears a small, intricately carved amulet, a gift from her grandmother, said to protect against malevolent spirits. Yet, instead of comfort, it feels heavy, burdened with unspoken stories and lost connections. Amina often gazes longingly at the forest, feeling an inexplicable pull toward its depths. As if it holds the answers to questions she dares not voice. With each passing day, her desire to venture into the woods grows stronger. Battling against the warnings echoing in her mind. As she stands at the edge of the forest, the sun begins to set behind her, casting long shadows that dance in the fading light. The air is thick with anticipation, a moment of quiet before the storm, as Amina steals herself for the journey ahead. Each breath is a reminder of the courage it will take to confront not only the mysteries of her family but also the fears that have haunted her for far too long. In that fleeting moment, she knows she is at a crossroads, a place where the past and the present intertwine. And where the truth waits, hidden in the shadows of the ancient trees. Amina, fueled by her restless spirit, 
decides to venture into the dense forest one fateful evening. The air is thick with humidity, and the sounds of the village fade behind her as she walks deeper into the trees. Each step feels like a leap into the unknown, but her heart beats with determination. Suddenly, she stumbles upon a hidden glade illuminated by the moonlight. In the center stands an ancient stone altar, covered in moss, and surrounded by curious carvings that seem to whisper of forgotten rituals. Amina approaches cautiously, feeling an otherworldly energy pulsing from the stones. As she examines the altar, she hears rustling behind her. A chilling wind sweeps through the trees, sending shivers down her spine. A shadowy figure emerges from the darkness, it's Kofi. A childhood friend with an adventurous spirit, who often shared her dreams of exploring the forest. But tonight, his demeanor is different, he seems anxious, even fearful. Kofi warns Amina about the dangers of the forest, recounting tales of villagers who entered and never returned. He speaks of a powerful spirit that protects the woods, one that punishes those who seek the truth too fervently. Amina brushes off his warnings, fueled by her need for answers, but Kofi's unease only heightens her own sense of foreboding. Ignoring Kofi's pleas, Amina touches the altar, triggering an ancient mechanism. The ground trembles beneath her feet, and a loud crack echoes through the air, splitting the silence. Startled, she pulls her hand back, her heart racing. In that moment, the ground gives way, revealing a hidden passage descending into darkness. Kofi grabs her arm, urging her to leave, but Amina feels an irresistible pull toward the unknown. Against Kofi's better judgment, Amina decides to enter the passage, believing it may lead to answers about her family's history. The air grows colder, and the walls are damp, echoing their footsteps. The further they descend, the more oppressive the atmosphere becomes, with shadows flickering at the edges of their vision. As they reach the bottom, they find themselves in a cavern adorned with ancient symbols, glowing faintly. In the center lies a stone pedestal, upon which rests an ornate box. The sight fills Amina with awe and trepidation. Kofi, however, senses danger and urges her to turn back, warning her that some truths are better left undiscovered. Ignoring his warning, Amina opens the box, revealing an artifact, a beautifully crafted necklace that resembles her amulet. The moment she touches it, a surge of energy courses through her body, and the ground shakes violently. Suddenly, a dark figure emerges from the shadows, a malevolent spirit tied to the forest. It roars with fury, accusing Amina of disturbing its sanctuary and unleashing chaos upon the land. The spirit reveals cryptic truths about Amina's lineage, suggesting that her family has long been intertwined with dark forces that have caused suffering in the village. Panic rises within Amina as she realizes that her quest for answers has awakened something powerful and vengeful. The spirit lashes out, sending a wave of darkness that knocks Kofi to the ground, leaving him vulnerable. Amina must now confront not only the spirit but also her own fears. As she must protect her friend and unravel the truth about her family's past before it's too late. As the conflict escalates, Amina's resolve is tested. She must decide whether to continue her quest for truth or flee from the chaos she has unleashed. The tension hangs heavy in the air as she grapples with her emotions. Caught between the desire to uncover her family's secrets and the responsibility to save those she loves. As Amina stands before the wrathful spirit. The air thick with tension she recalls fragmented memories that begin to flood her mind. These memories reveal the heart of her family's dark past, intertwining her fate with the village's suffering. Amina flashes back to her childhood, a time filled with laughter and innocence. She remembers sitting by the fire with her grandmother, who often told her stories of their ancestors. 
The tales were rich with bravery and wisdom. But there was always a shadow lurking beneath the surface, a whispered warning about a curse that had plagued their family for generations. Her grandmother's eyes would cloud with sorrow whenever she spoke of it, instilling in Amina a sense of fear she never fully understood. In one particular memory, Amina recalls a family gathering where tension simmered just below the surface. Her father, a respected village leader, argued fiercely with a group of elders about the importance of traditions. He believed in the power of the ancestors, while the elders warned him of a darker side to their heritage, suggesting that some things were better left undiscovered. Amina's heart aches at the memory of her father's passionate pleas. She had admired him for his strength, but felt a growing chasm between his ideals and the villagers' fear. That night, as the family prepared to sleep, Amina overheard hushed conversations between her parents, discussing a dark secret hidden within their lineage. In another vivid recollection, Amina remembers the day her mother disappeared. The village was thrown into chaos as whispers spread about the return of the ancient spirit believed to be responsible for the misfortunes that befell families. Her mother had been the one to speak out against the spirit, advocating for a return to their roots. Amina remembers the dread that settled in her heart when her mother didn't return home one night, leaving behind only an ominous silence that enveloped their lives. The villagers' fear intensified, leading them to turn on Amina's family. Accusations flew, painting them as harbingers of doom. Amina recalls the cold stares and hushed tones, how quickly the warmth of their once friendly village turned into suspicion. She had felt so helpless, watching her father fight to protect their name while battling the grief of losing his beloved wife. As these memories swirl around her, Amina realizes that the spirit before her is not just a malevolent force, it is a manifestation of her family's unresolved past. The spirit reveals chilling truths about her mother's fate, hinting that her mother had ventured into the forest seeking answers, much like Amina has now. The spirit's words echo in her mind, revealing that the curse stems from a betrayal that dates back centuries, when her ancestors made a pact with dark forces in exchange for power and protection. Amina feels a mix of anger and sorrow as she confronts the truth. Her family's pursuit of power had led to devastation, entangling them in a cycle of suffering. The spirit reveals that her mother's disappearance was a consequence of this betrayal. As she had sought to break the curse, risking everything to save her family from the darkness that threatened to consume them. Now, the burden of that legacy weighs heavily on Amina's shoulders. She realizes that the necklace she uncovered is a key to unlocking the secrets of her lineage. A reminder of the pact her ancestors made. As the spirit grows angrier, demanding retribution, Amina finds herself standing at a crossroads. The memories of her childhood, the loss of her mother, and her father's struggles collide, igniting a fire within her. Amina understands that to free herself from the shackles of the past, she must confront the spirit and the truth of her family's history. She draws upon her grandmother's teachings and her father's strength, recognizing that the only way to break the curse is to embrace her heritage and confront the darkness that has haunted her family for too long. In a moment of clarity, Amina declares her intent to end the cycle of pain and reclaim her family's honor. The spirit, taken aback by her resolve, pauses, intrigued by her determination. As the confrontation intensifies, Amina's backstory converges with her present, creating a powerful moment where she is ready to fight not only for herself but for her family's redemption. As the spirit's wrath intensifies, Amina stands her ground, clutching the ancestral necklace in her hand. She knows this moment will define her fate and her family's for generations. Thunder rumbles, and a powerful wind sweeps through the clearing. 
as if nature itself is caught in the fierce battle between past and present. Amina, gathering her courage, challenges the spirit directly. She declares that the suffering her family has endured will end tonight, that no more lives will be taken by the curse. Her voice, strong and resolute, cuts through the storm's roar, asserting her right to break free from the dark pact her ancestors once forged. She invokes the wisdom her grandmother shared with her and recalls her father's resilience, drawing strength from the family she has lost. The spirit, enraged at Amina's defiance, conjures images of her mother's final moments. Replaying scenes meant to weaken her resolve. She sees her mother lost in the same forest, pleading with the spirit for mercy. The image stirs both rage and heartbreak within Amina. But she channels her emotions into a fierce determination, refusing to let her mother's sacrifice be in vain. With the storm raging around them, Amina takes a bold step forward and raises the necklace. She calls upon her ancestors, urging them to grant her the power to undo the curse they created. In a bold gesture, she offers to exchange her own spirit if it will satisfy the ancient pact. Willing to sacrifice herself if it means her family, and the village, can finally live in peace. The spirit hesitates, its anger faltering as it weighs her offer. The storm's intensity lessens momentarily, as if the very forces of nature are deliberating her fate. In that stillness, Amina speaks with clarity, explaining that vengeance will never heal the wounds of the past. She calls for forgiveness and balance, seeking to restore harmony instead of feeding the cycle of pain. Suddenly, a fierce light bursts from the necklace, illuminating the spirit and revealing its true form, a sorrowful, broken figure trapped by its own rage. In that moment, the spirit confronts its own pain, recognizing that it, too, has been bound by the curse. Its anger softens, and for the first time, there's a hint of peace in its expression. Amina, sensing a shift, steps closer and reaches out her hand. The spirit hesitates but ultimately grasps it, accepting her offer of forgiveness. As their hands meet, the storm subsides, and the oppressive weight in the air lifts. The curse that has plagued her family shatters, releasing both the spirit and Amina from its grip. In the aftermath, Amina is left standing alone in the quiet forest. The spirit has vanished, its rage dispelled, and a newfound sense of peace surrounds her. She feels the weight of her family's past lifted from her shoulders. Knowing she has brought honor and freedom to her lineage. As dawn breaks, Amina stands quietly at the edge of the forest, reflecting on the night's events. The once heavy air is now filled with the peaceful sounds of morning and the weight of generations has lifted from her heart. She takes a deep breath, feeling a rare calmness within her, an inner peace that eluded her family for so long. She returns to the village, where the townsfolk have gathered, anxiously awaiting news. They immediately sense a transformation in her presence. Amina, no longer bound by the burdens of the past, speaks with a newfound wisdom and clarity. Sharing the story of her family's curse and the strength it took to finally break free. She tells them about the power of forgiveness, explaining how true healing can only happen when bitterness and revenge are set aside. The villagers, moved by her words, reflect on their own lives and the grudges that have divided them. Some approach estranged family members and neighbors, inspired to mend their broken bonds. Amina's journey resonates with each of them, illustrating that even the deepest wounds can be healed through compassion and understanding. Amina, having achieved peace for herself and her family, realizes she has found her purpose. She decides to dedicate herself to guiding others on their journeys toward reconciliation. Believing that her experiences have equipped her to help others break free from their own cycles of pain. Her actions embody the lesson that true strength comes not from vengeance but from empathy and the courage to face difficult truths. Her final words linger with the villagers, reminding them of the importance of legacy, not as a burden to bear but as a path to create with wisdom and kindness. She urges them to live in harmony with the spirits of their ancestors. Not as haunted figures from the past but as sources of guidance and strength for the future. As she leaves the village, 
Amina is no longer the troubled young woman burdened by her family's legacy. She is now a figure of hope and resilience. Walking confidently into a future where she will be remembered not for her struggles but for her triumph and the peace she brought to her people. To wrap up the story, address the audience directly with warmth and encouragement to engage. Invite viewers to reflect on the powerful message of forgiveness and healing they just witnessed, asking them to share their thoughts in the comments. Encourage a discussion by posing a thought-provoking question like, What does forgiveness mean to you, and how has it played a role in your life? Finally, remind viewers to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay connected and catch future stories. End with a heartfelt thank you for watching and a hint of more meaningful tales to come.